and welcome everybody to another exciting new season of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CB Cubed. CB Cubed indeed, man. And this is a brand new season, Crown Zenith. I'm so excited. It is our first mini season, meaning everyone gets just a single pack to try and score victory. I know, but it is a it is an absolutely fascinating uh, lineup of cards that we have for you. Yeah. Literally out of it, like the the highest ranked rare card, I think comes in worth about like 30 bucks, but then the trainer gallery That's is where, where the big hitting really happens. There is only one Galarian Gallery, which is the trainer gallery for this season, yeah. card that is worth less than one point. And what is that? It is the Voltorb. Oh, it's gonna and be so sad if someone gets the Voltorb. I feel so sad for it. Like, there's a part of me that wants to invoke like a Voltorb clause or something like that to visit <laughs> like an extra point, but we will not do We're it. We're not doing that. We will not do it because it will be spectacular if and when somebody does in fact get that card. The other exciting thing about this particular season is that there are scoring energy cards. Yes, there are. Which is going to be really fascinating. Yeah, the, there is a uh, an ultra rare version of every single energy card available. So I think they all come in right at around like five or six points. Yes, right, right in that yeah. wheelhouse right there. So not not super like hard hitting, but typically you don't even score with an energy card anyway. So right. it will be fascinating to see if we stumble across any of those. I am so excited to dive in. Let's do it. As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week, we'll also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now it is time for the Wheel of Energy! Right, ben, I've gone through and counted the number of available Pokemon of each type. Grass and Electric both have like almost the same number, so that's the, that's the big multiplier you're okay. looking for. Okay, okay. Are you ready? Let's yep. see. Can you do it for the... Three, two, one. Watch us get Eyeball Energy. Yeah, this will be the time. This will be the time. Yeah. Three, two, one, go! What's it gonna be? It's... Oh my oh god, my it's Grass Salad Energy! Yes! Oh my gosh, so that's gonna work out really well because today's randomly chosen common chase cards are Love Disc, Pincurchin, and I was pretty excited about this, Scyther, which is of course a grass Pokemon. That is so, very uh, exciting. Scyther now scores twice anytime you see it, so it's not just worth the, the brownie points this time, it is the real deal. Uh, so Crown Zenith, it is a different kind of set. It's a mini set, you might call. So they don't have booster boxes. All they have is, or the, mo the most economical way to get a large number of packs is through the Elite Trainer boxes right here. So we actually have to open four of them for this episode because each pa box only contains 10 packs each. Correct. Uh, but I think we just go ahead and break into it. Let's do it, let's All do right. it. I'm pretty, I'm pretty stoked about this. You were telling me, uh, like, as we were kind of prepping and everything, that the Pokemon Company did a good job going through and selecting some of uh, fans' favorites cards in order to like remake them for this set. So there's yeah. like some reprints, but new artwork. Yeah, there's this this set, Crown Zenith, honestly feels like a love letter to the entire Sword and Shield era. So they just took a lot of everyone's favorite cards from the past since Sword, Sword and Shield base set and did a lot of reprints with updated amazing artwork. I'm sure you're gonna see uh, what we mean in the meantime. Check them out. So as an example, they've already obviously printed Lucario V-Star. This will come in each uh, Elite Trainer box. I don't think that's really going to anybody, but there it is. Um, as you can see, really cool artwork on that. There's the packs we're pulling from. Uh, patron number one, pack number one. Should we get into it? Yes. All right, contestant number one, Ben, it's Anna, who in the last two seasons has lost out on a dollars and cents battle in a tying situation. So Poor let's see, Anna. can like, Anna come out of the gate swinging for Crown Zenith? It is the case that we officially are far enough into this game that we have what we can call an underdog. That's right. I know. And in, in, interestingly, in both cases, Anna lost because she scored too many points. I, that is that is hilarious to me. Let's see how Anna does today. Got the fireball energy. 
The shaman, the hammer, the, the carnivine yep. scores, the, the oddish, oddish scores. scores. I told you, so, yeah, grass is going to be good today. I can already see something peeking out back there, Oh, too, yes, man. you can. Okay. Motion the air. The Starly does not score, but the Zacian V will score. So, Zacian V uh, making a return back from the uh, original, the Sword and Shield base set, getting its reprint. Actually, this is a different card altogether. It has different attacks. My bad. So I, it's I, it's a very really cool looking card. It is it is going to fall into that base V column a little bit a little bit with eighty five cents value to score. Oh gosh, just a single point. So three so points. Three on the pack for Anna, and that's going to be her season total. That's how it's going to go. Congratulations, Anna! There you go. At the very least, you get an awesome Zation card, the right. mascot. Of I do sword. think this will be the first full art that Anna has received. So congratulations. There you go. We're very happy for you. Okay. Next up, we have Megan Steele. Stevens. Okay, Megan, let's see what we can do with my first pack. Yeah. Opening Crown Zenith. I'm very excited about it. Megan had a full season uh, last time. She had four points overall. Okay, okay. So let's see how she scores this season. Because again, you just get one pack. It's like, this is it. This is your score. Right, right. Well, there's our eyeball. There's an the eyeball, the so beloved. it doesn't get that. Electric, Digging Duo, Jura, Jura Frig. Giraffe Rig. Duh. I, I, close. Yeah. Close. Come on, Ben. <laughs> Galarian Mr. Vime. Sun Thermal Scores. scores. Bidoof. 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 Coughing. Uh, Salandit. Yep. Uh, Friends uh, in Sinnoh. Does not score. Does not score. But. And, oh, Calyrex does get two points, I guess, right? Because yep, it's a type uh, advantage. Grass, so. yep. And it's a rare, so that'll be three points as well. So right away, Anna finds herself tied with someone. Right away. should have right seen away. it coming. I know. But you know what the exciting thing is? Is that for at least. At least that one glorious moment, Anna. Well, and even still, tied for first. Tied for first. Amazing. You know? Amazing. Wow. We're that's all how, really excited for it. That's how yeah. she do. Can you imagine how mundane the rest of the season would be if they ended up tying for first and if, three points was our high score? That, there's no way that's possible. We might break it as soon as the next pack with Alyssa, who's coming in. Uh, let's see. Last season finished with 11 points. I bet you can break it right here. You think so? Think right here, so. right now? Single pack. I'm going to call it right now. You got now. that good feeling. You I got, got a that good, good feeling, feeling about Alyssa right now. And she's going to bust 11 points with this pack. No problem. Are you ready? Bam. Metal energy. Metal energy. Okay. So that's about to a bad start for my prediction. But bam, Luxio. Yeah, the Tangela scores. Also, the Whalmer, the Shinx, the Execute. That does score. And the Pengar. So I was oh. wrong. Instead, we have another three-pointer. Another three-pointer. How about that? It's so funny, too, because they're doing it in such different ways as they well. They are. So... We'll we'll see. We now now we're now we're just waiting. Now we're I just know. Waiting. That's the other thing too is like a booster box across thirty six packs. It's like you know that about like eight to ten of them can be like full arts, meaning yeah. that like the other you know twenty six right might not be. Might. They could have trainer gallery. There's other cool stuff that could happen in there. Yeah. But like out of these like limited sets of packs, it's like well some I I can't imagine buying a whole elite trainer box. That's and nothing the thing. Like it. I don't know how much control they have over it, but you feel like if you're the Pokemon company, you don't want someone to buy a whole elite trainer box and then get nothing out of it. Right. Right. Yeah. Yes. I want to know like what the like what the serial number markings on the pack or something like what that number right there does that mean something? I'd be curious to find out. Okay, so who's up next? Next up, we have Haley and Colin. Haley and Colin. All right, they had twenty points last season. Strong showing. Strong showing. It came down to that that third pack that they had. Uh, they were in contention, I think, for last. Actually, place, you're right. They went two, then zero, then eighteen. Yes, we yeah, so asked. The old data rage approach, as right, we call yeah, it. As yeah. Right, yeah, <laughs> the, the, the data rage clause. All right, we got a teardrop energy right off the top, so mm -hmm. that doesn't do anything major for us. Crushing hammer, Luxio, rescue carry, Molga, Yanma. Yeah, scores. Oh yeah, I'm so sorry. There we go. Uh, the Cricketot scores. Uh, the Grubbin scores. Score. And oh! oh! That right away is going to be the. There are two uh, Pikachus in the set. That's the good one. Oh my god. That's gosh. like the secret rare Pikachu. So that's already going to jump out into a very early lead. Plus three scoring uh, type advantage let me, cards. Let me give you that yeah. sleeve here to go. I'm ahead pretty and jealous of that one, Haley and Colin. These guys, this is, you know, they're a power couple. A pow power couple indeed. You got to watch out. You got to watch out. Number wow. 160 outside of the trainer gallery. This is the final card in the set. So wow. it is the. Uh, it is the, it, there's actually 159 cards in the set, 
uh, excluding the, the glaring gallery, this is 160 of 159. That's so what makes it secret rares when you're outside the numbers. Right, yeah. yeah. So just the single one comes in at a whopping $18.84. Wow. So, so that's 19, 19, 20, 21, 22 points. Goodness gracious. I made my prediction one pack too early, Ben. You did. They you outdid did themselves in a single pack. Tru wow. Truly splendid. Very exciting. What a cool Pikachu to come out. What, four packs in? Uh, four packs in, there you go. That's an amazing pull right there. Congratulations, you guys. And right there, we have an early leader, 22 points. 22 points. And a three-way tie for last. Ooh! The cool thing about this particular season too, Ben, is that because you only get a single pack, everyone's in play for last place. I, exactly, Every, yeah, yeah for, for sure. So those rookies, those rookies out there, I know we got a few new ones this season. Yes, and speaking of rookies, you may notice that Ben is wearing a sweatshirt that says breadsticks. We, are, we have officially started awarding and we have retroactively done so as well, uh, awarding the Olive Garden gift card to the Rookie of the Day. So that there is- There we go, guys. Is, it's available. It's a real it thing. It can be you. We made it a thing. We made it a thing. You're welcome. You are what? I think it's up to you, right? Oh, it right? is up to me. Yep, yeah. up to me, okay. All right, so next up we have Justin Jump. Justin Jump! Justin Jump, another person who could easily outscore themselves from last season. They only scored five points across three packs. I think they can outdo it. Let's take a peek. Let's, Let's take a have peek. A look. Whoa. Dark tier. No drop. one has the type advantage yet. We got the trekking shoes, the Lunatone, Luna Sol Rock, Wulu, Shinx, Pancham, Snorunt, which I think might be the lowest value card in the whole entire set. Wow. Uh, Pawniard? Pawniard, yep. Really? You don't pronounce the I? Maybe you do. Pawniard? I don't know. I don't know. Oh, there we go. There's some trainer gallery toxicity and an opportunity for something else behind it. Oh! oh, there you go. This is what we were talking about. We do. Okay, so what's interesting here is that there was another energy in it. This was something that we were talking about before we started because we didn't actually know whether or not these, these rare energies would just be the energy for the pack or if it would be an additional card in the pack. Right. Which means that in the event that you successfully pull uh, the type advantage for the day, and a matching energy, you will get a 4x on your pack. Right, so had this energy been the uh, the grass energy, that would have counted for a multiplier. Wow, okay, so, so this is gonna be another decent scoring this pack. This is gonna be a very good uh, pack for which sure. Which is interesting, because like we just said that, and they had no type advantage <coughs> benefits at all. So, uh, glaring gallery number nine is the tox toxtricity. Uh, which is going to come in at $1.37, so a little bit on the lower end in so terms of those. That's so, two points. So two points for that, and then one fifty-seven on the uh, Raucous Pummeling Energy is going to be worth $3.36, so that's going to be worth four, four points. So six on the season, and bam, I told you they could outdo themselves, and they did. Let's get some sleeves oh, for yes, these bad yep, boys. Oh, yep, yep, absolutely. There's one. Yeah. Let me grab another. This is one of my favorite things about the Elite Trainer boxes is that they come with these sleeves. Yeah. I've heard that they are not great for gameplay, but great for uh, card storage. Yes, they are. Um, that is that is the thing. You don't want to play with these. They will rip after like two games. Okay. So that's sort of a bummer, but they're great for storage and shipping. All right, next up we have got the Blue Suede and Ben, our first contender for Rookie of the Day. Uh-oh, here we go. How is the Blue Suede gonna do? Can they? Uh, jump into, for, they're gonna need 20, uh-oh. Oh, uh -oh. not a great not starting point. Not a great start point. for the rookie. They've got that V-star. Doesn't mean they can't get the multiplier. Good point, Because Good you point. can get the other one. Right, yep, yeah, um, But let's see how we does. Did I do this backwards? Oh, I don't even know. Uh, I might have. Give We're just gonna find okay. out. Okay, okay. Friends and Sinna, the Gloom scores. Ultra Balls, Cherubi scores. I think I did it right. Okay, nice, nicely did. Love just scores, because that's one of our, okay, and uh, Mr. Mime does not. And the Tauros does, so just four points minus one, so three, three points. Point pack. That seems like it's gonna be like the bell curve number so it, far, doesn't it? It does feel that way, it does feel that way. But I am glad to see that we're getting multiple point scores on each pack. Yes. So we're, we're getting a, a good quality, uh, like a high a high rate of play. That's right. Well. Okay, so the Blue Suede is our current uh, rookie of the day. Amazing. At With three points. Three points. Okay, right. now we got our marker. So now we know what we're going for. Next up is CK Hoof Talk. CK Hoof Talk. That's right. How are they going to do? They only had two backs last season and only had three points. So uh, they they could outdo themselves here. Although maybe they don't want to and put themselves in a really solid last place position. Because right. 
you right think, now. Yeah, you think Blue Suede with that V Star marker honestly probably wanted the zero point pack because you can you can get last place with zero points. If anything though, I feel like I feel like CK Hoof talk. I feel like this is like a like a like a, a chime in from the guys in the back. Yeah, and I, oh. feel like, I feel like they've got good word on on this pack. So oh we'll my take goodness. a look. See, let's with see the, with the flip. Ba bam! Look at that right there. Got right the type there, advantage. There, the type advantage. Energy. So two times multiplier on two the entire pack. Okay, so you got the dust clops, the Matang energy switch. Man, where are? Oh, there oh, we go. There's okay. the grubbing. That's where it's two, two right points. away. Yep. Okay. Oh man, I think I think the guys in the back may have once again uh -oh. done their thing. Let's oh, take a peek. Oh, Cynthia's, Cynthia's ambition. ambition. That is an amazing full art card, and there's another chance to score on it. Oh, the oh, enamor. So the enamor okay. does score. Obviously, this is the big winner, though, dude. That's awesome. Glaring People gallery. love Cynthia, so I feel like that's going to be pretty solid. Let's take a peek. Let's peek. Yeah, so that's Galarian Gallery number 60. Yep. Uh, so it's going to take us to the very last page. Never a bad place to be. Not a bad score. Uh -oh. $17.76. So that's 18 points times two. So that's 36 plus, uh, it's going to be 38. 40 point pack. Oh my gosh, yes. Wow. Oh Incredible! My, oh my goodness! The guys in the back, see what they talk all over it, Here, taking me... full advantage of the type advantage. This is why I think Crown Zenith is going to be so fun. There's so many things to score with. Yes, there are. This is very exciting stuff. We'll get you sleeved up right now. Boy, so uh, despite the Secret Rare Pikachu pull earlier in the day, uh, we already have a, a lead change. There we are, there right we there. are. Interestingly, the, the multiplier came into effect here because the other pack had 22 points with no multiplier. This would have had 20 with no multiplier. Oh. So that that hurts a little. You love it. Bit. You love it when the rules of the game come into effect. They, they, they do play their part for sure. Uh, next up, Ben, we have Mots. Mots. Oh man, big, big community favorite right here in Mots. Mots has been looking for like a solid finish for a while now. It's true, it's, it's true. I and mean, he's kind of wishing he had that last pack, but uh, we'll see. He finished last season with five points. Can he land himself? Oh, the lightning energy right there. The Carnivine will score, score for yep. him though. Lost vacuum, the core fish. Oh, Scyther. the Scyther! That's two points. There you go. That's I mean, that's worth everything right there. The Zamazenta, this is gonna score. And uh, this is one, this pack has a lot of like these hollow cards that score more than one point. Oh yeah, we need to double so check this the, is one of them. Yep, that and is one of them. The, the lie part. part. So four scoring cards and the Let's see how much the Zamazenta is. Yes, uh, that is one that we had marked aside here because it is worth $1.27, so technically so two points. Two points, so one, two, three, four, five, six points so for Mots. That is, uh, that is for, well, not the best single pack. This is a tie for the best single pack Mots has ever had. Well done, Mots. <laughs> there you go. Well done. Six points. I want to say that puts you in like third place overall. Right, yeah, not a bad place to be. Right, yeah. Congratulations. Well done, dude. All right. This has been such a fun season already. Already. And I know I, we've looked ahead in the names. I know that Big Steve will be in this episode, so we'll be able to start... Uh, measuring people up against him real soon. Right, so we'll get we'll kind of get that metric, of course. Yeah. But we'll get to there. Uh, right now we have Emerald Phoenix. Emerald Phoenix, who last season went three, three, and three. So it was a big three, man, and that's been the number, uh, that's been the most consistent number today. Yep, it has been. Can we beat it with this pack? Let's take a look, see. Oh my gosh, I'm still, I'm still reeling over that Cynthia's ambition. One, two, three, four. To the front with the flip, raucous pummeling mm, energy okay. showing up for us. The digging duo, the ultra bar, the salazzle, the shanks, the Mr. Mind, Sunkern, Sunkern scores. good yep. call, coughing, the Badoof. Oh, oh, it's the mysterious tail Mew. That is a fantastic card, very I'm, competitively useful as well. Great card again and, from that Galarian Gallery, and, and the B. Oh, that's kind of, that's sort of an interesting card with like the little bit of like yeah, graffiti or she something. She signed it. That's her signature. Nice. Yeah, so that's pretty cool. Absolutely love that. All right, so three scoring cards. I don't know if the B is worth more. I'm gonna double check it just yeah. to be sure because it is sort of unique. So it does not. So that one's just gonna be okay, your single point. The Galarian point. Gallery number 10 is gonna be our Mew, <coughs> which comes in at $8.96. So that'll round up to nine. Nine, so and then the 10, 11. Yep. There you go, 11 points 
for uh, Emerald Phoenix. That's a really good pack. It's a great Better than pack. three. Better than his whole season last season. That's why I love Crown Zenith. There's so many high scoring cards. I know. This is this is gonna be so much fun. Really so competitive really, field. Really excited to see how the rest of these go. Because we are we are, for what it's worth, getting very close to having a completely full roster uh, over on Patreon. So if you are like wanting to get in for season five, where we're gonna start opening packs from the Scarlet and Violet collection, uh, head on over to patreon.com slash supercarling gaming and select that uh, box breakers tier. And bear in mind that if it is your first episode, you're in line for them breadsticks. Whoa. You know how it goes. Uh oh, speaking of which, next up we have Earth Enchantix, another potential rookie of the day who only needs to beat three points if three I am points. not mistaken. So that's our, that's our mark. That's what we're looking for. All right, how are we gonna do for Earth Enchantix? Can they beat three points and possibly claim themselves a nice gift card? We're gonna find out. What's kind of crazy about how this set is going is that competitively within the game itself, almost no impact. And so it's just the collectible it's set. It's basically just a collectible. I think one card has finished like in a in a scoring position at a tournament so far. Wow. Yeah, it has made almost no impact at all. Uh, but for this game, extremely competitive. So let's see. Boom, the fireball energy makes a return. How are we gonna do with the final pack of our first box? Oh, I do see something peeking out back there, Ben. So yeah, okay, we are okay. gonna have a some, somewhat exciting. Uh -oh! Oh! oh! The eyeball energy, there we go. Oh, I think there's that something else it. too. And the Stoutland, Stoutland B. B. So okay. three scoring cards. Man, right, that is let's, very let's exciting. Get that guy sleeved up there. So let's check the eyeball energy, which is gonna be, uh, well, is there no number on it? There is no number on it. How so that's, that? well now hold on. The, uh, the, uh, the fighting one had the it. The fighting one had a number, so this might just be like the non-ultra rare version because I, the fight the raucous pummeling one had like a bunch of like fists in the background it was, too. You're right. So I think this is different. This might not be a scoring energy. It's just what? a shine. It's a second shiny energy type. Is that right? Well, there is a textured psychic energy. This listed. is this is not textured. It's not textured. No. What? Well, well, well. That's interesting. Okay. I don't think that scores. No way, really? I don't think so. Oh, man. Okay, well, let's check number 116 uh, on the set. That's going to be our stout limb, which is just worth a single point. Oh, no. So this is a two-point pack? It might be a two-point two pack. Point pack. But you do get the foil eyeball energy, which is still nice. Um, I'm going to sleeve it for you anyway. In the meantime, you're in last place. Congratulations! You're in a podium position. I know, I know. That's yeah. very exciting stuff. Very what good. on earth? That was an unusual twist. I, I mean, gotta, let's I just say. double check for comparison. Do you know who had it? I don't remember who had it. Let's see. Um, oh, here it is. Okay, so this is from the Blue Suede's pack. As you can see, the difference here... Yeah, you're right, look is at that. that. Look, that has a number on it. This is a, an official... Uh, textured rare card. If you can see in the reflection too, maybe Ethan can get a better shot. There are some like fighting uh, symbols in the background there. Right. Those are not present on the eyeball. There's no eyeballs back there floating around. So this is worth points. This is not. <laughs> Tough break. Well, I'll be. But it's still cool. <laughs> it's very cool. But that still could have been a multiplier card, right? Yes. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. I do think it's worth noting that it could still be a multiplier because it's still another one. It's another energy. It's another energy. So you still could, if that had been grass, it still would have counted for the multiplier. Right. Man, that's got everything. All right, Ben, next up we have Brant. Brant? Brant, who has finished the both of the last seasons with 10 points even. Okay, okay. So uh, I'm feeling like a 10 point pack here. <laughs> it's just, it's just, just like, just see it. Will history repeat itself? Yeah. And we are into a new box. This is so, a new box. So fresh pull rates. Whatever are now, that means to you. Right, yeah. Could could be something, could be nothing. One, two, three, four, to the front. Bam, with the flip, lightning bolt energy. Lightning bolt. We got the dust collops, the Matang, the energy switch, the Aeron, the Rylu? Riolu. Riolu. Yeah. The Starly. Oh, the, the Scyther, Scyther and the That's, double points there. There we go. We got the we got the Pokeball. Ooh, oh! And again, again, a fake out. This is a non-scoring shiny energy. What? Um, oh, it's bumming me out. It is a bummer. Yeah, I know, yeah. <laughs> And, and the, and the Lux Ray. Ray. Oh, so. man. So just a two point pack, which is going to bring us to our uh, a tie for last place with two points. 
Just kind of cool. We'll still go ahead and sleeve that energy for you because it is shiny. It is shiny. We do like that. And, uh, you know, you got a scyther in there. So that's really, that's a total victory. Right. All there around. You go. Congratulations. Kabam. Well done to Brant. That's a two point season for you, sir. I wonder if there's like one of those in each ETB. And we just got lucky that we pulled because that was the first pack from this new set. Yeah, you're right. I don't it's, know. It's impossible. It's possible. We're going to find out. Okay. Next up, we have Abby. Abby. Abby uh, finished last season with six points. So uh, this is uh, this is Abby, who has a five-week-old and a five-year-old. As, as of, of October. As of October. So but like in they're our much minds, older now. Yes, no, no. Well, they're like teenagers. Yeah, basically. Right. They've effectively doubled in age. No, more several times. Yes, oh, absolutely. <laughs> yeah, they're more than twice as old. Oh! There we and go. And just like that, Abby pulls the uh, multiplier for the pack. Can she take advantage of it? That's the question. So far, nothing on the back. The Tangela Tangela. scores. Oh, there's oh, there a Poochiena. Okay. So there's some Trainer Gallery and the Nessa. So I don't know if we need to check the Nessa. I'm going to do it just for safety. Just for sure. So yeah, let's see. Let's see. We don't want to ever miss out on points. So number 136 is worth 55 cents. So okay, so yeah, just a single point on the Nessa. Yeah, but the and Galerian the Gallery. the Poochiena has got to be worth at least two points because it's not the Voltorb. Exactly. It's going to be worth $1.48. So that'll round up to two. So two, three, four. Four times two is eight points. Honestly, oh, great man. use of the uh, if, of the multiplier. Of the there, multiplier. So. I mean, it's not Cynthia's ambition or anything. No, but, but it is like pretty good. you know, there's there's still that big Steve award. There is the quality eighth place award. There are other reasons why you might not want to be in first. Yeah, that's true. There, bam, we and you are. get the Pucciana. There you go. So cute. All right, next up we've got Jesse. All right, Jesse. Now this is not Jess who almost spoiled everything for Brooke last season. I know, I know. Yeah, the the, the known rivals. Yeah, Brooke and oh man, I hope I, I don't know if, uh, who arranged the index cards, but I hope they put Jess and Brooke in the same episode. I do have a good feeling about this pack. I, oh. I've said before that I feel like there's like a weightiness, yeah. of like you know, and I know that like the original base set packs sell on the basis of like gram of weight. weight. Yeah, and sometimes you pick it up and it's like, why does it this feel one? heavier? This one. It's like, when you've handled as many packs as we have, ah, you, know, yes, you, can just, you can just start to tell. <laughs> anyway, here we go. With right. the flip. Okay. Oh. So we have our, our lightning bolt energy on top. So it didn't go quite as well as the guys in the back, but I mean, I'm no guys in the back anyway. So the rescue right. carrier, Lairon. Yep. Uh, Friends of Sinnoh, Larvesta, Baltoy, Galarian Meowth, Energy Retrieval, Shinx. Oh, Ooh. the alt Drapion V. Nice. That is amazing. Super good at slaying Muse. I love that card. Oh, it's a little oh, clay oh, figure. Uh-oh. Oh, oh. Uh-oh. Oh. Dude, and you were Rotom. right. And the Rotom V-Star. V -star. So two full art scoring cards. That's amazing. My favorite part is how quickly we're going through these sleeves. I know. Let's check that Rotom first. It's going to be number 46. Um, that is going to come in at $2.15. So three so points three for the point Rotom. There. I think the Drapion would be a little more. Uh, yeah, let's see the Drapion. It's fairly competitive. Galarian Gallery number 49. Let's see here. Yeah, ten dollars and twenty cents on so, that one. So an eleven point. So it's going to be what a fourteen point pack overall. Is that right? Fourteen. Did I get the? So three points here and eleven points here. I believe so. Yeah, math, yeah. math, math. Yep, we got it. Fourteen points for Jesse. Amazing. Bravo, bravo. And I'm glad to see that <laughs> my that my hand scales, you know, are. Yeah, in, <laughs> we're we're right, working. Yeah, we're, we're working. totally spot on. You have very sensitive hands, man. You're like both. All right, then next up we have Berkeley Comstock, another rookie of the day. What contender. is our, What's our current rookie number that we need to be? Five. <laughs> I can't <laughs> he remember. He said with confidence. I cannot remember. Hold on. Oh, you. If you, it feels like we beat three. Yeah. I think we're still at three. Still at three? Okay. Still at three. All right, with the flip. All right, we got a raucous pummeling energy right there on top. We got an Ultra Ball, an E-Electric, uh, Lost Vacuum, Purloin. Purloin. The Grubbin. Grubbin. The Skrelp. Yep. He, uh, Helioptile. That's exactly right. Wow, wow. Uh, Wooloo, 
Uh, Lunatone does not score, and, and the, the Snorlax, Snorlax, which is really adorable, but it's still only two points. So somehow I believe the blue suede is hanging on with three that, points. With three points. <laughs> rookies that, today. Rookies I tell today. You what? That's pretty crazy. They're not like rookies of seasons past. You know what I'm not, saying? I know yeah, what you're yeah, saying. They're like, no they just jest. don't make them like they used to. Yeah, one week ago. <laughs> one week ago. Oh my goodness. Now, there's a lot of packs left, and we appreciate you rookies for showing up. We sure do. Next up, we have Veva. Veva. Veva, who uh, last season put up four points at a 3-0-1. Okay. So they were, it looks like they were aiming for last place last season. Actually, they said cross stitches as far, so maybe they would have been happy with that Snorlax, which looks. Oh, it did look cross stitch. Cross stitch. Yeah. That is yeah. indeed right. I think that's correct. Um, maybe they're going to go for a, a last play, a last place bid. I'm surprised they haven't had a, any single point packs yet. No, we have not. We have not. This has been <coughs> fun. Well, fireball the running for it. at the top. Let's see it. Bam, the carnivine. You know yeah, what's really hurting the single point packs is the abundance of grass Pokemon. It's true, it's true. Yeah, the Pangoro does score, that is a rare, and the Scizor. So we get uh, four points total on the pack, which is going to match Let me double check season. that number 80. I don't know why that, that sticks out to me in my brain skull, but okay. no, no particular reason. I was, I was just making say, it up. Yep. That would surprise me. I don't, I don't know Pangoro to be a particularly uh, popular Pokemon or competitive in any way. But. Okay. <laughs> Nothing, I mean, you know, it's, it's cool looking. It's cool looking. It would have surprised me though. All right, next up we have uh, Ryan. Ryan! Ryan, who is another rookie who's looking to beat those three points and maybe take home the Olive Garden gift card today. <clears throat> All right, we'll see, we'll see. The last Pokemon game he played before Shield was Ruby and has was very surprised by the changes. So, yeah, there's been a lot of things that have changed since Gen 3. With the flip, we got the Bam. beloved eyeball, the eyeball energy. energy yep. We got the Gloom, Gloom, which will score, the Crushing Hammer, the Luxio, the Mr. Mon, the, the Sun Sunkern Kern scores. Maybe not a single Pincurchin today. You know, it's possible there's a Love Disc. I feel like I've seen one come through. Yeah, we, we saw, we counted it. Okay, we did, okay, yeah. okay. Uh, the Salandit, the Potion does not score, but the, oh, the Dur Duraludon! Duraludon! Duraludon returns! Uh, All right, so it's gonna be three Three scoring cards. Let's see if the uh, the Duraludon gets you any extra points. I feel like it will. Uh, it comes in at just 74 cents. I was so dead wrong about just, that. So it's just a just, three point pack, which means pack. The, uh, we have <laughs> the tie continues for the rookies. Unless I just totally forgot that we already beat Blue Suede somewhere along the way. Right, yes, which uh, is always entirely it's possible. It's totally possible, and everyone's like, guys, stop saying that. I know, yeah. It. Let's not put too much emphasis on the fact that we are doing it on the fly and trying to remember all at once. I know, right? So next up we have Shadow Loop. Uh, who finished last season with six points and a three, two, one. So they were sort of counting down to zero. Maybe this will be the zero. Maybe this could be the this zero. Could be it. Can we see? We haven't seen a V star in this uh, in this box yet. So yeah, we have not seen it. It doesn't mean it can't happen. We're all looking for it. Oh, no V star, but maybe uh, the single point. Maybe the single point. There we all go. Right, we're all off right. to a good start for a single point pack. Never feels like a metal energy pack does well. So yeah. Oh, wow. What shade? I know. What I know. shade? No. Oh, look, ben, they're looking good. Oh. oh! But they've got the Mew! It's the second time we've seen this Mew today. And the Zacian, which I think is worth more, that might be uh, more than a single point as well. Oh, let's, let's double check for sure. So that's number 94 is the Zacian. <clears throat> yes. Um, and it is, no, the Zacian is not. It's, Surprising. It's very close to number 97 in the set, the Zamazenta, which does yeah. score a little extra, which we've okay. seen one of those. I forget what the Mew was. So I'm gonna double check that real quick. That was So close to that single point. The Mew is the Glaring Gallery, number 10, worth $8.96. We'll round up to nine, so 10 points on the pack. 10 points on the pack and on the season, I suppose. I guess we should sleeve that oh, bad yes, boy. Oh, we should indeed. Right there, just for safety. Just for safekeeping. Mysterious tail. What is the number to beat still 40 points? Boy. I know. That's I crazy. Know, That's man. a lot to beat for a single pack. We've had good spread though. Yeah. I feel like we've had lots of threes. We've had some middling stuff. We've got that like 22 in there. Yeah. All right, next up we've got Hannah. Hannah. Oh, Hannah. Hannah. Oh, Hannah. Mom? Is that uh, Sid's sister? Sid's sister. Yeah. Yeah, I think every time Hannah plays, we need to have Ethan at play Woody playing. Her oh yeah, right, Hannah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. You're on it. You got it. It's not too hard. <laughs> <laughs> Teardrop energy for Hannah. Hannah. Here we go. The layer on the chat up. The Yam yeah, Mumble score. score. The Pawner. The Cricket Tot scores. The Dragalgy scores. And the Yen Mega will score. Wow. So, How about that? Man, so that's going to be two points as well because it's the rare plus the uh, type advantage. That's two, three, four, five points. So a lot of scoring cards. That's pretty fun. Yeah, not bad at right all. Out of the gate. 
Well done to Hannah. Made a solid showing. If only the teardrop energy had been the bonus. I know. In which I know. Which on the multiplier and so many other little cards there. Next up, all right, Ben. Will Amina, another rookie, looking okay. for just four points. Just four. Just, just wants four. to get some breadsticks, you know? I know. You know? Oops, hang on a second. Who doesn't want breadsticks, man? man? After we talked about it so much last week, we went and got some breadsticks. We literally ourselves. did. We did. Also, just cannot show, we not sponsored. Not sponsored in any way or affiliated in any capacity. It was just a joke that we thought was too good to not continue to, uh, to but look, we'll, Olive Garden, if you want to throw some, we'll, we'll make it happen. Right. We we'll can, promote you proper. We could stop talking about Olive Garden so yeah. that Olive Garden's like, All no, guys. All of a sudden, their business tanks. I know, yeah. Without like, the support of this show. What happened? Dark Teardrop Energy right off the top. <laughs> we got the Crocker Rock, the Lumitone, the Saw Rock, the Salan Dit, the Purloin. I'm just kind of like going for you it. You got it, man. Okay. The Grubbin, Grubbin will score. Yep. The Scrape. The Helioptile. Yep. <laughs> okay. Uh, the Luxury Luxury scores. Ray will score. And the Zerora. So that looks like a three point pack if I ever saw one. It although. does indeed. Yeah, that yeah. is it for it. So there you go. nothing the terribly exciting. But once again, we have a rookie scoring three points. Oh my gosh, you're right. What, what is like going a, on? A several person tie for that. We're going to have to go down to dollars and cents. The Luxray is kind of a cool card. It's a stage two, but if it's in your starting hand, you can just start it. Hey, amazing. So it just explodes onto the field. That's pretty fun. Anyway, next up is Charcopple. Um, they are coming in out of last season with just five points. They only had two packs though. Um, has never had a Pokemon card. Well, obviously that's not well, true anymore. Not, not true anymore. We're gonna have to change their fun fact this to is, has at least three. Has at least three. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Have we had anyone get the uh, type advantage in this box? I think we did. I think we did. Well, well not this one. Dark Teardrop. Oh, the Gloom will score. The right Gloom the does gate. score. Yeah. Boom. That's good. The Luxia, the Larvesta, the Pawnar, the Whalmer. Oh, I did. Uh -oh, okay, uh -oh, there uh -oh, is uh -oh. an energy back there, but is it going to be the appropriate kind of foil energy? <gasps> and it's not! It's not! It's just regular boy. And this is like the third Luxray in a row that we've seen. That's so weird. So weird. And it's like, if you, again, I always think like, you know, we're, we're doing this in a very interesting capacity in terms of the way that, we, that we're opening. Uh, but if you would just purchase this ETB, it'd be like, oh, I got. Three Lux rays. You got the Mew. The Mew got the Mew. One. Got the Mew. That's pretty yeah. good. Yeah, that's something to work. That's writing home about. Yeah. Okay. All right, one. we got to open up. We're into box number three on the day. Brooke and boxes all over the place. I know. I know. These boxes have been Brook, left, right, center, orange, blue, green, north, and west. West. I'm um, ready. Next up, then we have Aerofell, who um, finished ready. last season with an impressive 56 points. Very impressive indeed. Came Very to impressive. Play. Uh, and, then, and you can see last season how they went 1, 3, 52. So they know the power of a single pack. They do indeed. They do indeed. Now, Plus, we're in a fresh box. You never know. Yeah, you mean. never know what's going to be. Oh, oh, yeah. It's like a third dark in a row. I know. I know. Kind of weird. I'm a little tired of them, to be honest yeah, with there you. There it goes. Crocker Rocks right there. The Chat of the, the Emma, Emma score. scores. The Pawnard. The Enamorous does score, and Volcarona. Ooh. Wow, I gotta tell you, that's only a so-so pack. And with Enamorous, ugh, this is like a, just such an ugly Pokemon. I don't want to say that I'd be disappointed, but... I mean, I mean I've, sometimes I've, you don't have to say it. I've, I've inferred it. <laughs> No that's okay though. It. That's okay though. Congratulations. Card still headed your direction either which way. Thanks for playing. Arafel with another three point player on the season. Let's see. Next up we have Maddie. Maddie. Oh my gosh. Maddie, who last season was in a weird situation where they only had a single pack and that landed them a zero, which oh. on the season put them in last place. But because they only had a single pack, they were not in contention for last place. So right. very narrowly missed out on it. Let's see how they do this time around Let's now see. that they're out of their rookie stage. Right. Yes. And the thing is, is that you only have one pack this season. So if you end up with another zero, which well, I guess now we know that you can't because we have an energy card. Yeah. But either way, last place could be worth it. It could be. You could still have a single point pack, which would put you there. All right, we got the Luxio. We got but the it's more than one. There we go. There the Baltoy, the Meowth, the Whalmer, the Shinx. Uh, no score there, and the Executor. Wow, so. just a two-point pack, which actually does put you in contention for last place. <laughs> so, uh, so you're right there again. There's that. <laughs> uh, you, it, it turns out that Maddie is a is a is a is a last place man. You know? Yeah, I mean, you know, that's okay though. That's yeah. okay. Yeah, everyone plays a different game, right? You know? right. Some people want the yellow jersey. Some people want to be king of the mountain. Right. That was a Tour de France reference. That was a well Tour de France reference. Although I don't know why anybody wouldn't want to be the king of the mountain because it's a polka dot jersey it's, and it is awesome. Easily the coolest one. All right. Next up we have Josh. Josh. 
an IU alumni and professional IT nerd. Oh, hey, nice. All right, maybe you can run some numbers on us to tell us about these statistics or something. I know we have a bunch of data nerds in the uh, in this game. I know, well, this is a fun data game. It is a fun data game. Yeah. Bam, teardrop energy again. Here comes the electric, the digging duo, the core fish. It feels like this box has yet to give us anything too crazy. Hoopa and the Absol. So those are two scoring cards. Yeah, I don't uh, think either of them rings a bell as anything super special. I'll check that number 76 just to be doubly safe. Yeah, I know that this Hoopa was moderately competitive a little while ago, and it is a reprint, so there's that, but. There's nothing. But there's nothing there. But there's nothing. Sorry, Josh. Alas, earwax. Alas, earwax indeed, Ben. All right, next up, we have got Ben Carroll, a.k.a. Ben C. Ben C, yeah, comes to play, you know. Comes All to play, us. actually does come to play. Last season had a 78 point. This, this last season, Ben C enjoyed first place briefly when they hit the uh, multiplier on, I think, the gold Lugia V-Star. Oh, we yeah. Thought, There's no way anyone's going to beat this. It would have won <clears throat> season two outright. Yeah. And Instead, I think it was good for third place last season. Right. So. Okay. Well, we'll see. We'll see how Ben C does today. Because we, if there is one thing we've also noticed, is that for whatever reason, people who tend to pull good cards have consistently pulled good cards. So let's see if he so can let's pull take it a out. Peek. Ready? And with the flip. So we've got a rock is pummeling. pummeling right out of the gate. Yep. So we've got a Pokemon Catcher, the Salazzle, the Rare Candy, the Energy Retrieval, the Shinx, Larvesta, the Seal, the cricket top. Oh, Swablu. There so you go. That will score at least a little bit. Yep. And, and, uh -oh. Oh, else and the Zamazenta. Zamazenta. So three scoring cards. I know this isn't the Voltorb, so it's at least worth two points. All right, let's get you a couple of sleeves. We'll see there how that's going to go. There's a bunch of cards that are like basic Pokemon that sort of have this artwork on them. They actually all nine fit together to form a greater picture. That is really, is really cool. cool. Uh, cool what is the number of Swablu there? It's, it's going to be G27. G27, we'll take a look. That is going to be worth $1.11, so, so two, two points for the Swablu. And then the Zamazenta is number 98 on the set. Let's see what that does for us. Comes in, oh, this is a weird one. Uh, where it is actually only worth a single point, and the hollow rare Zamazenta right above it, the non the non V the card. non V is actually wow. worth more. Wow, that um, is strange. That is strange. So just a single point for that Zamazenta. So one, v. two, three, four points. Yep, there we go. Four points total for Ben C on the season, but at least walks away with a cool V card. Couple, yeah, a couple of nice full arts there. So that's yeah. that's fun, no matter which way you slice it. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. All right, let's see. Next up, we have got okay. Yet another contender for Rookie of the Day. Okay. So far, okay. Ben, we've had a lot of three-pointers here. This is Chadster. I know. Can Chadster come in with a big win? Because this this box so far has been pretty disappointing. It has been pretty disappointing. So it feels like it's due for something good. Can Chadster show Although, us what's up? If you're Big Steve, who I, I can see his card is like not oh, terribly far off on the horizon, so I bet Big Steve is sitting there like thinking, Nobody pull anything else good. No way. Like, save that luck for me. Yeah. Uh, I will say that if you know Big Steve IRL in real life, he has got some magic pull rates. There, like, that is true. He, he is like, he is so lucky, it's incredible. <laughs> anyway, Fireball Energy, uh, the Friends, okay, the Gloom, Helioptile, one of my least favorite things to pronounce, Pancham, <laughs> the Switch, the Snorunt, the Larvesta, the Salazzle doesn't score, and yeah. oh! oh! Rayquaza V Max. That feels like it has to be more than three points. It must be. It, it just must has be. to be. Let's take a peek. Let's take a peek. Does How it, many times have they printed Rayquaza V Max at this point? This does it be like the fifth? Does it taste like breadsticks? Does it taste like breadsticks? I feel like it's going to. It barely tastes like breadsticks. What? Two dollars and eighty-eight cents. So it is three points, but with the gloom, it gets the four. I'm pretty sure that puts Chadster at the Olive Garden this Saturday. Is that the last rookie of the day? Well, I don't know. There could okay. be someone else. Okay, okay, okay. Hey, hey God. Yeah. <laughs> Who'd have thought? I know, I know. I was going to say, Chad's already Riding calling bear his... on the back of his Rayquaza. Right, yeah. <laughs> what better way to get to the OG? I know. There you go. Goodness Congratulations. Me. I can't believe that was only a three-point card. Same. Wow. Same. Sometimes it's like you see a card and it's so cool looking, you're like, this must be valuable. It it's must be. be. Anyway, next up is Jeremy. 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 All right, how are we going to do? 13 points last season. Not a bad showing. Would Not be a great showing. showing right now. I feel like that would be a good... I don't. I can't. I can't keep track of the mental scoreboard, but I feel like it'd be a quality eighth place contender. Oh, bam! Eyeball energy. energy right there. So no multiplier in this box so far. 
So I'll rock Tangling tangle those scores. I do think I see. Oh, yeah. Something shiny is yeah, back there. You got there, something ben. back there. You got something. Uh, oh, maybe a couple ready? of shinies. Oh, maybe. Just, Bam. Uh, oh, oh, it is the, the Melanie. Full art. Melanie and the Toro. So okay. the Melanie is going to be the big winner on this pack for sure. But it's like we said, yeah, the Galarian Gallery really is where you want to earn your points. Yeah. Because that is where all the money be. Uh, let's see, number Melanie's 60. Melanie's pretty competitive too, so. Comes in at $11.30, mm -hmm. so 12, so 12 points. 12, 13, 14, 14 point points. pack right there. That's pretty solid, better than this whole last season. Yeah, there we go. In a single pack right here on the Crown Zena season, which continues to score big points all big around points, the board. Big points. I know, I'd be almost curious to see <laughs> if we were to do the math at the end of the season, if the average point total is actually higher for Crown Zenith than it was. Oh, you're right. oh, for Silver Tempest. Right, yes. That would be so interesting. It would be. So far it feels like it. It does uh, feel that way. Next up is Tyler Gillies. Tyler Gillies. Who Am has, I a, up? has a identical twin brother. I think, no, you're up, because okay. I pulled, I said that's see something. Okay. I will say, hand scales feel like they're they're going off the ring uh -oh. again. So uh -oh. I, I have no basis for this. It is not a scientific approach. It's just, when you feel it, you feel it. All right. Bam, let's see. Maybe. All right, so one, two, three, four, Gillies. Let's see what we can do with and, the flip. Oh man, again, no no salad energy in this box so far. Carnivine scores. Yeah, Boss Vacuum Sanded, <coughs> the Energy Shirts, Rubbin the Grubbin, the Strout, the Wooloo, the Ooh, Radiant. Oh, the Radiant Eternatus. And, and oh, oh no, Pikachu. another secret rare Pikachu. What on earth? That is crazy. And my hand scales were right again. Dude, what is with your hands? I don't know. That's Craziness! Okay, let's see. Let's see what they're mm. reading. Um, mm. Okay, so the Pikachu again is number one sixty out of number one fifty nine. That comes yeah. in at nineteen points. So we know that's nineteen. And then what is uh, the twenty twenty one and the Radiant Eternatus is one hundred five. Number one hundred five, which is worth a dollar fifty. So that's two points. Okay. So so okay. nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three. Correct. Twenty three. Oh man, that puts them in second place. Yay! Doesn't really mean anything because that's as many points as you can get. So you're not gonna win. Um, but man, twenty three points. And you know what? You are a winner because you get the secret rare Pikachu. I know. That's I was gonna say. It's like at that's the end of the day. That's pretty awesome. At the end of the day, everybody's in contention. You know, for some of so, like some of the prizes and everything. We yeah. make a big fuss about the prizes, but like so many people are getting really amazing you cards get cool along cards. the way. So. Yeah. Anyway, there we go. Well, congratulations to Tyler Gillies. Pretty solid. There we go. I bet you anything Big Steve is sitting there like, like am I the uh, next card? Am I the next card? And the like, answer is, yes, you are. Oh my All gosh. Right, so <laughs> Big Steve has just missed out on the secret rare Pikachu, but that doesn't mean this can't be a good pack. All right, and this is also going to be important in terms of uh, prizing because as of this pack, we will know the number to beat. For Big Steve. For Big Steve, Yep, right? absolutely, absolutely. So here we go. How are we gonna do it? How is Steven going to fare this month? Can we get a salad energy? Oh, we cannot, we that would have been fat. Oh, maybe. Oh, that's true, still possible. true, true, yep. The digging duo, the giraffe, the pink kerchief actually scores. There oh, hey, know. how about that? What do you know? The halo tile, the wooloo, the shinx, the pan Ah, oh, there's the toxicity. Okay, we've seen and it already. And the, the bead. Oh, man. Okay, so, so. There we go. Those I are our three scoring cards wait, for Steven. This is our second toxicity of the day. Yep. Number nine on the set, which is worth a dollar thirty-seven. So That's two points. Two, three, four. I think four points. Yeah, four Has points. Has anybody had five points already? I don't know if they have. Oh, you only sleeve that guy for him. Four points. Bam, that's pretty, okay, so that's interesting because everyone's been getting three. So, I, mean, I don't think we've seen a five yet. So I feel like, yeah, this is this is good though because I feel like Steven has, has done a good job so far of of being right in like the center, you know, of yeah, that bell curve right that we talked about. Curve. So now he's so, just like a little past the center, it feels right, like. Right, right. All right, this would be a really weird bell curve though because you go from three and then there's like a bunch of people ahead of it. Right, yes, 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 but, yes. There's uh, not, a, not, not, not a lot room in the behind middle, it. right. Yeah. <laughs> It's really steep at the front. Yes. Anyway, I'm just doing math. Uh-oh, Ben. Ben, we have another potential contender for Rookie of the Day. Now, can someone beat the four-point Rayquaza VMAX? Can Xander do it? I didn't know we had another Rookie on the day. 
Might have spoken too soon. Right. Well, we, we we put in a word of caution back there. Man, okay, Before so, Chad. Chad, yeah. we didn't want Chad to be too excited and call his grandparents and everything and let yeah. him know, you know. Xander plays guitar, flute, and piano, and speaks a little Japanese and Chinese. Okay, well, we do have a B star <laughs> marker. That's a B star marker, so not a great star. Maybe yeah. you're going for last place. Who knows? There we go. We got a Luxio. Yeah. We got a trekking shoes. We got a Shaman. We got a potion. Mr. Mime. The Sun Current. We'll put you back. To, there we go. The you know, Oddish. Scores, the the Badoof. Badoof. Nothing super special. And, and the Live Hard. There we go. So that's going to be what? Three two, minus one. Two point pack. Two point pack. That is going to be not good enough for the breadsticks, but that is going to put you in a tie for last place at the moment. So enjoy that. Enjoy that. It's all down to dollars and cents. If you really close your eyes and imagine. It's dollars and cents, but it's like you have three cards you have to deal with. Right. Because you have, this is where the V-Star marker actually hurts you in this situation because it otherwise, yeah. Anyway, um, that's where you are, Xander. I cannot believe the uh, the battle for Rookie of the Day. I know, I know. How that's been uh, raging. Next day we have Simon Pertshirt. Pertshirt. Pertshirt, who has finished uh, last season with just five points, before that eight points. So okay, okay. Actually, if they get a five point pack, that'd be, that'd be great. That's what that, you kind of want. It's true, it's true. Yeah. Uh, Cause then that puts you right in the Big Steve competition. Anyone with five points will be right there. Dark Man, Teardrop we have Energy. have just not had that. So much darkness today. I know, I know. Yeah. Wow, the electric, the badoof, the coughing, the pro oh man, I was gonna say, is this gonna be the one point pack? The execute and oh. the lux ray. Are there two lux rays? There are, because this is the other one. So that's a two point pack. Wow, another two pointer. I think that's a three way tie for last place now. Maybe four way? Okay. It feels like someone's gonna get the one or the zero by the end of the season. It does It does feel like the. Like we should we should get there at some point. Yeah, the the grass energy is really hurting people's odds for last place. So if you were looking for that, uh, today was a bad day to have gotten the type advantage. Right. Because it's such a prominent uh, card. I think if we get if we ever get metal, there's not a lot of metal cards in here. It doesn't seem like there's a lot of metal cards ever. Yeah, surprising. All right, we're into our final box of the day here, and we're actually only going to be opening two from this pack. So give them a good shuffle, you know. Oh yeah, hang on, I can yeah. do that, I can do that, hang on. Yeah, we, don't, we, we have no idea what so, we're, we're gonna bust out the old hand there. scales, see yeah, what exactly. we get, yeah. yeah. Ben, give, it, give, it a good, give it a good hand scale. Next up we have Omega. Okay, okay. Hmm. Who uh, we know has done well in the past. They are a former season champion, I believe in season two. They won with 58 points. It's hard to believe you could win a season with that back then. <laughs> I know, <laughs> the game has changed. We sure have come a long way. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Oh. Ben's giving up the old hand scales. They've been his hands have been solid today. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. One eternity later. Bam. Are right, these are the two for this box? Those, for are the, this? those are the two. Those are the two. Let's see. Bust it, it out, ye old hand scales. We'll see how they do for us. Man, I'm gonna be so impressed that these are both really good packs. <laughs> like, what is it's going like, on? It's utter nonsense. It's complete craziness. <laughs> Oh, oh my gosh, right there. Ben might have been feeling the weight of the B star. I know. Dragging it's, it's that like pack an down. It's I like know. an anchor. Bam, the rescue carrier. So, so far, no energy. I guess you could rely on your foil energy to try and get it. Well, there. Anyway, we'll get you back to zero. Yeah, at back least. to zero. The Shinx. The Badoof! The Badoof! There you go. The Carefree Countenance Badoof and the Dragology. Uh, so, uh, there were there were some extra weight in there. There yeah, was. There was. There was. That's okay. going to be three scoring cards. Let's see how that Badoof does for. Two dollars forty three cents. So, so a three, a three point three, four, five, four. So that's four, gonna be a. Okay. Oh my gosh! So oh, close no. to the Big Steve Award. In fact, that's gonna bring you right out of contention for it. Though you'll be in a tie with Steve. Uh, so that's pretty much it. That's, yeah, that that's doesn't, it. That yeah. doesn't do you any you good can't whatsoever. Can't change your score at all this season. You're just stuck with what you get after a single pack. Good shot though. You got the Badoof. The Badoof is really cool. Though, this is so a playable we'll Badoof. If you're yeah. gonna play it, you know, this is the one to play. Uh, next up, final pack of the day is Chris Ray, huge wrestling fan. This is Chris is someone who like almost always pulls the rock is pummeling energy. It seems like. If oh I recall. yes, 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 yes. Because I think yeah. every time we're always like, oh yeah, maybe. I actually, I have lost all faith in this pack now that I'm now. I'm now that you're holding it, yeah, yeah, I feel like I'm, I'm getting shaky. I'm getting uh. shaky. Maybe I need some food. Ben, what is going on with Chris Ray? <laughs> 
Every time. How does this happen? How does it happen? It's like, we can't even write this stuff. I we can't make it up. <laughs> Electric, the Luxio, the Rare Candy, the Shinx, the Lulu. The, oh man, gosh, the what a dumb. Electricity. The, okay, the Grubbins. Oh, oh, oh the Turtwig, and that'll score, um, well, an extra point, because it's right, grass. Yep. And, and oh, oh, a third Secret Rare Pikachu? Are you kidding me? Goodness gracious. Do you know how many packs of Crown Zenith I have opened and not pulled this card? This is infuriating. It is. It we is, pulled three today. Three. I'm starting to think it's not even that rare. It's kind of beautiful. It's, it's awesome. Um, let's see here. So that's worth 19 points right now. Yeah, out of the so game. we know that. Yeah, the Turtwig is going to be uh, Glaring Gallery number 31. Yep. So that's worth $1.76. So they'll get us okay. up to 21 points. Plus an extra point for being grass. Right, so 22. 22, 23. 23. 23. Yep. I think that's Each, our, is that our second person with 23 points? Uh, I think it is, yeah. The other person also had the Pikachu. Okay, So that's wow. got some sleeves for that. Yeah, Chris Ray, the impressive 23 point pack with the final the final pack of the day was the Pikachu. I know we love that. I think we were talking about how our last pack is never something like super rare. Super crazy. And it well was. today it was. My hand scales. Your hand up. scales I were pulled like two trainer solid. galleries. You at did. Least. There was that. Although I had lost faith by the time I was opening the pack. I was afraid I was gonna embarrass myself. So Man. I was trying to like all Chris Ray and his lucky raucous pummeling energy I know, I too. Who would have thought? That. Just wait Chris is like just wait for the day that rock is pummeling is, is someday, hard. yeah. yeah. Oh my gosh, wow. what an absolutely thrilling episode of Carly Brothers Box Breakers. I gotta tell you that I am I know. straight up loving Crown Zenith. Crown Zenith is fun season so This is far. super cool, super cool. We've got like a lot of high scoring stuff. I feel like we've got a fantastic spread. We've got the big Steve number that we now know how, how to lock in on. Uh, I believe Chad did in fact win I the Olive Garden so. gift card. I don't, so yeah. boom. That's Kabam. on the table. There Congratulations. Double we'll double check, check that. Um, but yeah, all the way around, a super, super solid day of box opening. I'm looking forward to next week to see what else we get to pull, because there are so many other really cool cards left to see. I know. Sorry, I'm just over here filing through my index cards. Don't mind me trying to make sure we got the right winner here. Da -da -da -da. Let's see if anyone with more than two. I think I think we're right on chat. We'll have to double check it afterwards, but there we go. There we go. either way. But we have officially <laughs> officially introduced and have backlogged all of those who have won the Olive Garden gift card in the past. So if at any point in time in a previous episode we had brought this particular premise up and you won, uh, then you will in fact be receiving one as well. Yeah. So congratulations for that. You're welcome. Um, guys, as ever, if you would like to head on over to patreon.com slash gaming, <clears throat> that is where you can sign up to have Jay and I open a pack for you here on the show. You will receive the cards that we open here on screen. Those will get mailed to you right away after yep. we finish filming and scoring. Uh, it is a really, really fun and competitive atmosphere. Uh, if you sign up now, you have already missed the boat for the Crown Zenith collection. Yes. Uh, however, you will be entered into our three month season, which will start on April 1st uh, with the Scarlet and Violet collection. That's right. And the spots are becoming a little bit slimmer. I think we have just about 20 open spaces left for players. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Maybe even less. We're gonna, It's definitely been filling in by the day. So I'm so excited. There will also be a team element to the competition. So if you've, when you signed up, if you picked your uh, type, whether it's fire, water, grass, or electric, uh, you will start competing with your teammates for an overall uh, team prize as yeah. well. Just a little extra incentive to get on over there. Again, patreon.com slash supercarlingaming, boxbreakers tier. Otherwise, until next time, bye. bye.